What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Nerdall Flake, Clutch Clutching 2470. We are here giving you guys another tip video. And it's been a while since I gave y'all a tip video. So we're actually going to give you an upgrade here in Nickel Over, something that I just learned that we are going to put out to help you guys send some pressure here in Madden. And it is on Overload 3 Seam. Um, I've suddenly getting back into the game, getting back into the nickel over, and I was like, do I want to put this in an ebook or do I just want to give this to y'all for free? And I was like, why not? Going to give this to y'all for free. Overload 3 seems it's a nice little cover 3 in the back. You can switch it to a cover 3 cloud, cover 4, anything of that nature. If your fingers are faster, you know what I'm saying? If you got the fast fingies, then yeah, you can go ahead and make it work. But normally what I do here is all forward auto flip, base alignment, and then have my 30 and 5s. And if I want to, I'll go ahead and put it on default, right? So we're going to go ahead and come out in this overload three seam and here in bunch offset, we're basically just going to come out in one of the best plays in double post, right? So basically what I'm showing you guys here with this is not just the, the, the coverage in the back. I'm not showing you guys the coverage in the back. If I wanted to show you guys the coverage in the back, I'll go ahead and show you what you could work with. So normally this is the play here. You could do it to where you can do this, this little shell right here. You could do this or this on the other side and keep it just like that. Then shade down, shade over top, which is triangle, and then down on the right stick. Triangle, then up on the right stick to basically turn it into a, a cloud flat. Or you can do this. You can actually uh, do this and turn it into a cover six as well. Um, but you can do many different things in a bag as long as you get some fingers going and do it the right way. But here is the overall setup. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it first. Actually, I forgot to do it just like that. And I'm going to show you guys how this works. As you guys can see, literally every single time, that man is going to just keep coming around that center and basically going to give off that illusion that he isn't going to get blocked and he just comes in completely free. Now, the great thing about this is that you do have a contain on the left side just in case he does try to roll out left, but you do have some, like, you know, some outside contains on the outside, maybe, and you keep doing it just like that. But the main thing that you got to realize that you need to do is hover right here as your user and you have to swing out towards this side just so they can go ahead and get up like not know who to block because if you don't do it right then it's not going to work so what you're going to do is triangle and then left which means to show blitz to bring everybody down and what you're going to do is left on the d-pad and right on the left stick just basically slip them all to the right basically not gonna lie, you would want to do this if you do want to get into like the the base. I mean, like the little, you know how four three even six one. You hit the blitz assignment to the bottom where you get that little disengage. This is what you'll get with that if you slide to the uh, left and then go. I mean, slide to the right and then bring them down. But what we're going to do is we're going to go left on the D pad, right on the right stick to their point of attack to slant right. So we're going to do that probably like three times and get it to look just like this. We're going to QB contain. And then we are going to go ahead and re-blitz Lawrence over here. And all you would need to do is just make sure your blitz uh, user is right here to where your blitzing arrow goes straight down like this, not like this. If it's like this, it's not going to work. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you how it's not going to work like this. Oh, it actually did. Okay, that's fine. So either uh, I've seen that it most likely works here on the inside Boom, now it's done. So I would say just use it right here. Or you can use it over here on this side. Most likely just stay right here. Just go over to the left and you guys can see it didn't loop that time, but it disengaged. And also if that disengage does not come in, um, you still have that corner that's coming from the outside to going in. And the reason why he's coming in free, normally if you have a blitzer coming in on that left side. So let's, let's go ahead and add it into... Um, this little setup right here. So what I like to do is come out in Nickel Blitz 3, which I am going to go ahead and add it to the uh, adjustments here. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and do that one more time. Um, normally with this Blitz, the corner is going to come right on the outside. One thing that you can do to kind of counter that if they want to go ahead and take care of him on that outside 
is to kind of bring them inside. So I don't know what it is with this play specifically, but um, boom. This is how I normally will run it. Uh, leaving the third, uh, the three rack right there, and then just basically doing this. I'll go ahead and hold it right here. So on the outside, you guys can see either the insides or the looping corner on the outsides will come in on loop just like that. Um. So you see how he loops towards the outsides just like that. But it did I also got a little disengaged with him in the inside, which kind of helped a little bit. But really now I am going back towards this play where we're going to go ahead and do it just like this. Only reason why I'm keeping the defensive end right here on the running back side completely uh, QB contained is because the corner likes to take an inside look, goes outside and then curves inside to sit here and get that angle and with that, it basically means I'm just going to move my guys out just so he can get into the inside. Now, it's not, I mean, I hope every time I can just go ahead and just readjust him and go ahead and blitz him and get to the outside. But it works way more if you just leave it like this. I'll go ahead and hike it once again. As you guys can see, even with me not moving out like that, he still comes in just like that. So, if you block a running back, most likely he is going to take care of that corner. And um, we're going to go ahead and show you that in a second. But let me go ahead and show you one more time. Do it like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and swoop around. I swoop again just like that. Boom. And it works just like that. Literally, every single time you swoop, you don't have to hold on to left trigger. Basically, bring him back. QB contain, re-blitz him, stand right here. When they hike, just go ahead and reach out just like that. And you guys can see he's getting to the quarterback way too quickly. Just way too quickly. It's, it's ridiculous. So now we are going to do it with the block running back. You guys can see this is the play. I got the two controllers to show you guys. Now we're going to go ahead and set it up again and show you guys how this works within. Okay, so it works just like that. All right, so now we're going to show you within the block running back. Now I'm pretty sure if my calculations is correct with my little nerdy ass. If you block the running back, it would not be the same little weird thing if they block that running back. But we're going to try it out here. Now, honestly, after we've done this for the first time with the block running back, it still did the same thing where if you do it just like that, he basically goes out to where he's supposed to be. So now if they are to block a running back, now we're going to sit here and basically blitz them in, QB contain, and then re-blitz them just like that. And now we're going to try and do the same thing and see if this counters the blocked running back. Now, normally this wouldn't, but we're going to, whoops, hide it with the wrong one. But hopefully this might work. Um, The only thing that they kind of did work is that the cornerback, got free um but he didn't get as free as he should so if you see right here he kind of gets in and how that linebacker in the inside gets in if he just would have took that that little big like he would have been he would have been fine so we're going to try that again and this time user out here to see if this works boom just like that Oh, I forgot about blocking the running back. My apologies. I was about to say that's that's how it's supposed to be, but now we're gonna go ahead and do do that again, and this time user on the outside. Boom, user just like that, and it did get a little bit more extra in there. But I feel like the one thing that you can do to kind of counter this is basically slanting it to the left. Yeah, slanting it to the left actually works out a lot better if you block that running back. Um, I don't know why, but it kind of did. But, I mean, if he goes up there, which, I once again, I forgot to block the running back here. If we actually know that they're blocking the running back, that kind of takes away from the little loop that we have. But it kind of works out better to know that we can do this, to know that you'll get in disengaged to get towards the quarterback right there you can see even with a block running back this still gets in because he's going up to get that linebacker if he can't get to that linebacker somebody's going to disengage and get there free so once again we'll go ahead and shift it to the left this time and then user kind of right here once again to have this swoop in and then i'm gonna block the running back one more time 
and boom just go ahead and do it just like this as you can see the disengages start coming in and then maybe just maybe if they see it's too many people coming and just like that we're gonna go ahead and actually keep the QB contain on that left side as we go ahead and hike it right here but yeah that cornerback still comes in free the contains is out there that still comes in if they block a running back somebody's still gonna get in but yeah, this is basically the blitz. If they do block a running back, go ahead and switch it to the left and get QB contained um, on both sides. And then either the linebacker or the corner going to get free. Or once again, just do it just like this. And you guys can see he comes in completely free. If he gets picked up like that, the corner got him on the back. But yeah, it's a nice little blitz to add into your uh, arsenal. Uh, like I said, if they are to sit here and block, let's just say they just full on block all of them right here is basically not going to work as well as the others will because as you guys can see well first the running back didn't even want to sit here and uh get him on his block but it's basically a w already if you have everybody blocking their guys just for this one blitz um one thing you are going to have to do of course if you see that they are going to adjust is adjust with them so kind of can get aggressive a little bit um, put some different uh, strategies back. I mean, different stuff back here to guard what they actually need. Things of that nature. It's completely up to you. Could do like a cover two look just in case. Because like on the outsides and you get to just literally swoop in just like this. And then come back up and use her with your actual user. Not Van Der Esch, who doesn't have abilities. So boom, we're going to do that again. Rush on up here. And you guys can see if that comes up right there. You have that right there. So it kind of looks like the little free safety blitz. But it's really just, I mean, it kind of gives off that same illusion with that uh, blitz on that side. But really, it's just a normal nickel over blitz that you can add on this side. So, boom, whip it over like that. If that doesn't work, you guys can see he gets in free over there on that side. And you can do some work like that. But if you guys like this, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see. Subscribe if you guys are new. And you guys see we are at 720 up on the YouTube. Can we get to 1K? Trying to get to 1K. Show you, show me the love. I'll show you guys the love back with even more content just like this. Trying to upgrade the setup. Trying to upgrade everything just so we can give out more better quality videos. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. As always, folks, peace out.